Hey, what's going on, my gilded brethren? Today I'm bringing you this effect. This is um, from Premiere Pro. Uh, it's a viewer request from Nat Nat Attack. She was wondering how to do an effect she saw in a music video. And once I saw the effect, let me show you the effect real quick. Matter of fact, you're looking right at it. It's just, you know, several videos cropped to, you know, it, it's kind of like a comic book how they're set up. But it's it's a it's a cop. I, I would call it the comic book effect, but I don't believe people are searching YouTube for the comic book effect. But this is what it looks like, and um, all you need is your footage. These white lines here, I created them in um. Uh, whoops, man, come on, man. Okay, it's malfunctioning, but um, the white lines. If I can get a hold of them. <clears throat> These white lines here. I um I created them in Photoshop. So that's all you need. You you need um you need some white lines with no background. And uh this is simple. What I did in Photoshop was I, I took the uh, rectangular tool and I stretched it skinny white skinny just real skinny the feel you know the stroke was so thick that it didn't have a feel but you could you could play with it if you wanted to I should have done that but I'm gonna show you all how to accomplish this effect right here what we're gonna do is go up to file new I'm gonna show you the effect one more time multiple videos at once uh, look at that that's crazy right this is my head and shoulder I, I was messing around with my camera this right here is my uncle performing at one of his concerts this right here is a park that I was at and this right here I was just showcasing some things but go to new project just in case you were wondering go to new project <clears throat> no this really doesn't matter because um all of that doesn't matter because once you import your uh your footage you're gonna mess with all that I'm gonna import the uh the footage with my back turned again <clears throat> and then hold on let me show you what that meant let me go back to undo when you grab your uh, your footage I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the program but just for anyone who doesn't know you put it in there and what had popped up in that box was change video settings and just it changes the video in Premiere Pro 6 and maybe Premiere Pro um, previous versions also when you put um, a video into the sequence that isn't that the dimensions don't match or the settings don't match they will change it you know based on the video you have and uh, let's start off by going to effects and we're gonna go to just go to the search bar and type in type in CR and it'll be under transform we're gonna grab the crop tool we're gonna drop it on our project go to the effect controls and really um what what you do from here on out is up to you you know you can animate it also I, I gave you the stationary view just because I wanted to show you the effect right away but we're gonna crop and I'm gonna show you how to how I did how I accomplished the effect I need to uh, import my white lines I gotta find my white lines here it is right here and um it's, it's a very simple effect you know more people should start talking about how they uh do these effects they like keeping uh keeping them secret inside secrets man but I like exposing inside secrets you understand so if you got any inside secrets you want to expose just let me know but yeah this is um that doesn't need to happen this is how I uh, animated it though I'm gonna put that there, uh, but I'm gonna move it though. Cause I wanna, um, I don't know what I'm moving now. <clears throat> move this up. Uh, where am I gonna put this? Where, where will I put this at? I guess right there is cool. No, it's not cool. I'm gonna put it down here. 
Now with my other video, because uh, I mean with my other setup, I had different videos, so it really didn't matter. But since these videos are the exact same ones, I gotta line it up perfectly so the line will, won't look crazy. And let me grab another one of my white lines, and I'm gonna extend it to the uh, length of the uh, project. I'm gonna just turn this until it's at a perfect 90 degree angle, which it is. I'm gonna have to make it a little bit longer than what it is. But that's okay though. There we go. Alrighty, I'm gonna import the movie one more time. Hold on, let me uh let me go. I gotta scoot up so I can add a new track. <clears throat> And then place this. Um, I guess right there is cool. Hey, and that's it. That that is the um. Hold on, let me turn this stuff down. What is going on? I'm gonna render it really quick. Bear with me. I'm gonna render this. Didn't mean to do that. I uh, hit the wrong button. I hit the hot key for my um, for my recording program to stop recording. But this is it. I'm gonna render this really quick. Just bear with me, and um, see really quick, very very quick. One second left. There we go. There there, there we go. Alrighty. And there you have it. The uh, comic book crop screen effect. And you know um, it's not perfect, but you know you have the artistic freedom. I showed you the the, the groundworks. If you want to. You know, you could edit it to where it's like action going on and and another scene pops in and another scene pops in. That's all up to you. It's, it's quite simple. And once you start messing around with Premiere Pro, you'll start to understand too. But hey, shout out to uh, Nat Nat Attacks. She in, she uh, inquired about this and I had to bring it to the channel. And I, uh, first and foremost, her. But I had to throw it on the channel and let everybody know. But hey, uh, any questions, just let me know. You need any effects um, exposed, I'll, I'll take care of that. I just, I don't know. I, I'm just, I just like doing stuff like this. But hey, thank you all so much for watching. Tell your friends, uh, subscribe, like, share on Facebook. I'm trying to blow y'all. Help me out. But hey, thank you all so much for watching. Have a happy YouTube and day. Take care.